let me show you so all of these little things are actual letters that I found well not really found I actually looked for them a lot spent so many hours trying to find things because I had to go through like old posters and public domain stuff so that I could find the letters that I could use for these right so I had a bigger video planned for these but I had to spend all day fixing bugs that came out on the paper full effects so I'm gonna put these out there already but I will be working on the cooler version of this video for next week or the near future now what is new on the Paperful Effects V2? Well, first of all, if you go to Effects, then go to Suave, and then find the Paperful Effects, there's a few more Paperful Effects that you can use on your elements, or videos, or images. Now, let me tackle a big question that I got a couple of times already. Let's add this effect onto this video right here. And as you can see, this effect has this little weird thing that happens. I got a couple of emails of people saying, how do I prevent this from happening? Well, it's actually, this is actually on purpose. Now, the reason for this is that there, the tracker has a predetermined or default data that I already tracked when I created this effect, but you can simply go here to media tracker and then press X and then that won't happen in, anymore. Now, after you have added your image, you have to track these forward, as I mentioned in the first video, and then track these backwards. And this is actually only if you want your image to be sort of like a little bit more attached to the paper like that. So it sort of looks a little bit more realistic, I guess you could say uh, when you have the tracker on. But if this is a big deal, if this is annoying, let me know and for the next update, I will actually make the media tracker be off by default. So all the images or elements that you add to, these won't have any movement. And that way you can actually just, if you decide to do so, go ahead and then track these out. So let me know in the comments if that will improve the user experience and I'll work on fixing that or changing that for the next update. All right, so these are a couple of few new elements that you can use. Well, not elements, but the collage effects that you can use. Now, the next addition is actually transitions. If you go to video transitions, now you have a folder called Suave and then there's paper. And here there's 15 transitions that you can use. And these are basically just native transitions. So if you just drag this up, you're not going to see anything if it's zoomed out like that. But you can always make these dynamic. It's, they are all dynamic, so you can make them longer or last longer. That's really up to you. Now, this is an experiment that I was uh, playing around with. So they're not actually just normal paper photos. These are all actually done natively in DaVinci Resolve. So um, there's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think they're all done with actual paper. So if we take a look at, let's say, transition 11, then we have like like an actual paper photo. So similar, exactly the same as the effects basically, but then there's a few that are completely different and new like that. And similarly, the tracker is having uh, its effect right here. But if you don't like this tracker, I actually didn't add the tracking option in this case here, but I can actually get rid of it if it is an annoying uh, thing and you would rather not have it there. Yeah, so those are the transitions are pretty straightforward. Just drag and drop them. And a few of them, the ones that are native, uh, let me make these bigger. The ones that are natively done inside DaVinci, these have these couple of options right here, which are, first of all, stop motion, which is the stop motion effect added onto them so that their frames look a little bit more like stop motion, right? If you leave these at zero, uh, it's not going to have any stop motion. It's just going to be like a completely smooth type of weird thing, right? So it's just one cool thing that I thought it would be a great idea to add for this one. These do take a little bit more like rendering power because they are a little bit heavy, right? But then here you have the paper edge amount that you can change, which are these areas right here. And also the shadow for the elements that have a little bit more shadow shown on them. So yeah, that is basically the transitions. So experiment with them, play around with them and use the ones that you like the most and also Email me your ideas or feedback that you have because that will be great so that I can keep making these better. 
Now let's jump into the next part, which is a cool part that took me a ton of time, which is the actual generators of like the new letters. So if you go to Suave and then go to pre-made animated elements, uh, there's a bunch more letters right here. So all of these letters were done by hand basically, right? So I actually took pictures and folded them and yeah, so they're done. They're handcrafted letters, basically. So these are just like any other generator. But now you have the actual options to, to use uh, the controls right here instead of the settings. But that is only for the new set. I didn't update the older one. If you want me to, I will update for the next version. I will add those controls onto this one too so that you don't have to use the transform controls right here. So yeah, that is pretty much how the letters work. And there's a couple of things that I got, uh, like questions that are how, what about if I don't want to have like an intro of the letter? Let's say you already have the intro right here, the letters open. If you cut this right here, the intro will restart because these are, are old dynamic. So somebody emailed me asking about the possibility of adding an intro and outro, and outro controls for these letters. That's a great idea. Uh, it will definitely take a ton of time to add those to all of these elements because there's more than 100 right now. But it's a great idea. Now, in the meantime, if you want to have maybe not, if you want the text to just show up and only have an outro, for example, this is what you have to do. You can create, turn these into an actual compound clip, first of all. But what I would recommend is for you to um, build your word right first the way that you want it to be oh dang it i have to actually fix the green screen on this one but anyways i'll fix that later on so yeah let me just make this smaller like that because i use a green background when i made these there's a little bit of a like a the greens the ultra here gets rid of some of the green portion of this image because it's blue but it's okay so yeah we have our words right here and they're organized or not work. Well, okay. So once you have your letters organized right here, okay. So as I mentioned, if you don't want to have a ton of different compound clips after you have created your word, simply right click and create a new compound clip from there. After that is ready, what you can do is simply Go to, towards where the ending animation is starting to happen. Let's say you only want to have the ending animation or the end, the outro animation. We're going to cut right here and then we're going to press shift R in here. That way, this portion is going to be frozen in time. That way, the word is just going to show up like that. And then at the end, it's going to actually disappear. Now, the same thing would happen if you don't, if you want the opposite to happen, right? So I'm going to bring that word com compound clip again. And then instead of getting rid of the intro, we're going to make sure that the intro happens and cut after the intro and then freeze the second part. That way you have the intro and then the whole thing will just disappear when the clip ends. So that is the workaround for now. And it's basically the way to do it. Now, another question that I got was how do I create or add a stop motion effect for these and I think that would be a great idea to cover on a different video so I will leave that and I will cover that on a video next week that way I can go over it in a little bit more detail and explain it so that I don't, don't have to rush through and make this video even longer than what it already is so yeah that is basically the paper full effects version 2 there's a hundred plus more letters added to them. So yeah, and I'm already getting somebody to help me out with more pre-made elements for the next update that is going to come sometime in the future. If you do end up getting the pack, let me know in the comments or just email me your feedback. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and how I can keep making these better. And if you already have it, then Feel free to reach out with any issues that you might have or bugs. So yeah, that is the Paperful Effects version 2 update. I hope that you keep finding it useful and that it can keep making your work better and more efficient every day.